document uh, may I ask uh, the good counsel from uh, the prosecution who has examined you to hand you over what has been marked as receipt for title uh, I think this is XXX that document has been uh, marked. Uh, the document is entitled Receipt for Title under uh, the letterhead of Ayala Land Inc. Uh, exhibit uh, XXX for the prosecution. Can you hand it over to him? Please. Thank you. Yes, sir. Do you have it with you now, uh, Mr. Bisnar? Can yes. you, may I invite your attention to uh, the date indicated? And uh, this is uh, handwritten uh, in that particular entry date. Uh, there is a date there for July 2006. Can yes. you confirm that? Yes, Your Honor. So while the unit has been sold in 2005, according to you, on the basis of the deed of absolute sale, the title was actually given and received by Mrs. Corona only on 4 July 2006. Am I right? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Now. The delivery of the title, uh, uh, Mr. Bisnar, uh, the date rather, of the delivery of the title uh, evidenced by this exhibit uh, XXX for the prosecution would not be the same date as the acceptance date of the physical delivery of uh, the unit. Would I be right in saying so? It's, it is different, Your Honor. So it would be possible that the unit was... Uh, physically delivered, although you do not have the notice of acceptance, uh, sometime after the delivery of the title. Possibility lang. I'm not misleading you. The, the unit was uh, uh, received what, what be before the, the delivery of the title, Your Honor. I'm sorry? The unit was uh, received before the delivery of the title. But you don't have the acceptance, that's what I'm saying. How possible is it, therefore, Mr. Bisnar, that the title... Uh, may have been received on this particular date, 4 July 2006, but the unit was actually physically transferred or received by the buyer only after. Uh, usually, Your Honor, the buyer accepts the unit before we even give the title. Uh, to that's them. our problem. Uh, you don't, uh, you're only basing your testimony on this particular aspect on your recollection. Am I right? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you. Now, uh, have you seen any copy of the Statement of Assets, Liabilities, and Net Worth of uh, uh, Chief Justice Renato Corona? Objection, Your Honor. It's beyond the scope of the direct examination. Well, Your Honor, the purpose was very clear earlier that uh, they are presenting this witness to show that this particular unit uh, was only reported in 2010, but not the, in 2005. No, the, answer, the, the witness answer. Uh, no, Your Honor. I haven't seen any statement of assets and liabilities. By the way, before coming over, did you ever talk to any one of the prosecutors on the subject matter of your testimony? Uh, we conferred, Your Honor, when we were uh, bringing the documents uh, last uh, uh, January uh, 19 and January 24. When, wa when was this? When was this conference that you had with the prosecutors? As I said, uh, they conferred with us, Your Honor, when we brought the documents and they examined the documents that was subpoenaed by the Senate. When? Where, where was this? Where, rather? Uh, here at the Senate. Uh, where did you meet with them? At the holding room? Uh, at the holding room, uh, on, I think, Your Honor. Yeah, Who the among the good prosecutors were with you in that conference? Uh, Attorney Noni uh, Hernandez shortly uh, met with us, sir. That's me, Your Honor. Ah, very good. Any other from the prosecution? Uh, none that I can remember, Your Honor. None that. So it was only the good counsel now, uh, you know, in the rostrum of the prosecution who were with you. 
in that uh, conference. Together with my other colleagues in uh, Ayala Land Servant, we were seated at the witness uh, waiting area, Your Honor. Did uh, the good counsel explain to you the subject matter of your testimony? Uh, yes, Your Honor, he explained that uh, we are being subpoenaed uh, in relation to uh, the impeachment case. The details of your possible testimony, Mr. Bisna, were, were those discussed? Uh, no, Your Honor, he browsed on the documents that we had and just advised us to tell the truth. Did uh, the good counsel uh, ever uh, machine copied uh, machine uh, copied these documents? Uh, during, during the marking of the documents, Your Honor, on uh, January uh, 24, when we came back, uh, we presented the documents for marking together with the defense and prosecution representatives. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Bisnar. Going back to uh, the physical, uh, I mean the unit, uh, you said that uh, you have not visited the unit exactly, I mean the one, uh, the subject matter of uh, this uh, examination. No, Your Honor. And therefore, you would not know whether or not the unit is bare. Skeletal is the word used to describe uh, the unit in so far as the other condominium units are concerned. So it is bare. You do not know. Uh, when we sold the units at the whole Bonifacio Ridge, it was uh, uh, semi, semi finished. Semi finished? Yes, sir. Okay. What do you mean by se semi finished? Uh, there are uh, wooden uh, plank floors, uh, Your Honor, uh, together with uh, uh, individual air conditioning units, uh, some uh, built-in cabinets. Uh, all the units are two bedrooms, a uniform, uh, average size of 113 square meters, Your Honor. The floors are completed? The the floors. The floors, Your Honor, are completed uh, with the... They were partitions were completed? Uh, yes, Your Honor, there are partitions. The walls are uh, completed? The walls have uh, basic paint, Your Honor. What do you mean by basic things? Uh, it's uh, a few layers of paint, Your Honor, but the buyer has the option to repaint it again. And the ceilings? Uh, the, the ceilings are fixed, Your Honor. And the fixtures? Uh, fix the, the just the basic fixtures, sir, Your Honor, are the built-in cabinets, uh, like the faucets and uh, uh, and uh, other finishings of the basic lighting building. system. Uh, basic uh, lighting only, Your Honor, not not the expensive ones. Proceed, Counselor. Thank you, uh, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Bisnar. Uh, you said you have not seen the unit. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And uh, the, the details uh, which you just testified on about uh, in describing that the unit is semi-finished uh, will be based on your general uh, idea of uh, uh, how, you, how a unit uh, is when it is delivered to the buyer. I, I had been uh, going in the project during my tenure as head of commercial operations as I was also inspecting complaints of buyers so that I, we can address them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the question is, uh, the unit, according to you, is semi-finished? Uh, yes, Your Honor. And you describe in detail what uh, do you mean by uh, semi-finished? Did I hear you right? Yes, Your Honor. So my question is uh, simple. Uh, the unit, uh, when delivered, uh, if at all uh, delivered, uh, and the exact date of which uh, you do not uh, know, uh, would not uh, necessarily uh, be based on your specific knowledge of how the unit looks like when it was actually delivered. Um, the exact details, Your Honor, are actually attached in the date of sale. Uh, the s exact specifications of the unit that was sold to the buyer. Me, the the semi-finished nature? Uh, yes, Your Honor. And then uh, you are telling me that you have not seen the actual unit. You I are basing it simply on what is stated in the document that you have identified. I have seen other units in the Bonifacio Ridge, but not the exact unit acquired by that's, Mrs. That's Mrs. my Mr. point, uh, Mr. Bisnar. You have not seen the actual unit, and you're describing for the court a unit different from this actual unit. 
Because your honor, the units we are we were selling at that time have uniform finishes. That's your assumption. Whether or not there are problems in so far as this unit delivered to Mrs. Corona, uh, uh, you know, is beyond you because you did not see the actual unit. I did not see the actual unit. Okay, that will be fine. Uh, we will go to another.